Yo, so I've never really done a video like this. I've never really done a rebuild or career simulation, anything like that, mock draft, redraft, anything like that. So if you guys have any ideas or tips or anything like that, let me know in the comment section for making these types of videos or just those types of videos in general better or things that I can improve on. Definitely let me know down in the comment section. Definitely be sure to leave a like on this video. If you guys want to see me try more of these and try to improve at these, definitely leave a like on this video. I'd say let's try to hit 400 or more likes. That'd be pretty cool to see. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are not already social media is all that good stuff but today we have mike trout we're going to be doing a career simulation here in franchise on mlb the show 20 i don't really know the best way to do this like i said it's my first time doing this i've never really watched too many of these videos before so we're gonna see how it goes and hopefully have a good time i'm gonna take a picture right now and just see where his stats are for these main ones and then see where they're at at the end of the video also if we wanted to, you know, we could go over a little bit like this. Just go all the way to the right and uh, compare these. I think the last one was played appearances over there. Maybe I'm not sure. But either way, we're just going over to the right. And uh, if we want to, we can compare all of these at the end of the video when he retires and see where he was at as y'all can see i have everything set to auto if i was doing a rebuild i'm pretty sure that uh you know the lineups rotations 40 man roster roster move scouting drafting injury management trades free agency contracts i'm pretty sure all that stuff if i'm doing a rebuild right should be set to manual but i think for a career sim it's best to have the critical situations and everything else on auto, right? I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. Again, this is why I'm asking y'all for help because that's my first time doing this. It's going to be a little bumpy road of a video. And I don't know how much you guys... Oh, my bad. I didn't, I didn't even do sim through season. I was like, wait, this is loading really slow. I don't even know if you guys are... Can we include this in the video? Can, can we like... Are y'all okay with seeing the entire season? The Nationals trade Carter Keyboom to the Angels for Shohei Otani. What? In what world is that happening? Am I crazy for thinking that would not happen? I saw Wander and I thought that was Wander Franco. I didn't even look at the teams or anything. I just thought that was Wander Franco for a second. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to. I kind of want to show you guys the season just so we can see the trades popping up. But I also don't want this video to be super long. However, I've seen people do rebuilds and stuff that are like hours and hours and hours. Uh, so maybe people do like to see every little thing. I think it is a little bit different with the rebuild and all that But again, I'm not gonna be making any moves like the, the computer is doing everything for me And we're just we're seeing how Mike Trout goes. So I swear to God if they don't sign Mike Trout or anything like that Maybe I'll have to check on that myself, but uh, Biggest thing career simulation, you know if the Angels want to trade him away, I guess he gets traded away so uh, you know, I, I guess it happens, but uh, I wish there was a way to make it so you didn't have to select these prompts. I wish there was like a complete simulation. I understand, you know, it's not that much to get through. Um, oh, I probably don't need to see these, but Lordy's Guriel to the Blue, uh, not to the Blue Jays, to the Rays from the Blue Jays. Okay, cool. I guess we'll be seeing a decent amount of trades, maybe. I wonder how it decides to pop them up. I guess maybe like key player trades, big players, big names. Rays trade Yanni Torinos and Diego Castillo to the Angels for Andrew Haney. I feel like that's not too likely either, if I'm going to be honest. Hey, but maybe it is. But uh, what I was saying, I think I got kind of sidetracked when I was trying to say this. I would really like to just see the Angels win a World Series or two in this career simulation. But again, I'm not really doing too much. Wait, do they actually have a minor league team called the Trash Pandas? All right, so let's just see where we were at uh, at the end of the season. I'm going to check Mike Trout. So we were 22 games back. And then in the wild card, we were six games back. Okay, but this is this is about Mike Trout. You know, it's not really about the uh, it's not really about the Angels. And we're gonna see how Mike Trout did this season. So on the season, he had a 297 average, 30 home runs, 391 OBP. I'm um, sorry if this is kind of loud for y'all. It's a little bit loud for my ears right now too. No errors, a 1,000 fielding percentage, 7.1 WAR. Uh, that's pretty cool to see, I guess. You know, not one of his best seasons. Actually, his worst season in terms of WAR. Uh, of his career that kind of sucks to see but hey you know uh, we saw it we saw it and we're just going to simulate the playoffs now and see who win the playoffs sim postseason the oh the dodgers have defeat yo okay that's kind of cool that's kind of cool i feel like the dodgers have defeated the rays in the 2020 world series that's really cool to see in my opinion 
awesome. Wow. That's neat, man. That's really cool. Okay, now it's time to go to the offseason. Um, I, I think I can pretty... I, I don't think I need to see, you know, retired players or anything like that. We just got to make sure Mike Trout was not one of the retired players. So, yeah, that's my last chance to see. There we go. And uh, let's go ahead simulate the off season i see I don't, I don't think there's anything that you guys need to see on this but the cubs signed marcelo zuna i guess maybe that's cool to see the padres you heard it here first y'all the padres signed trevor bauer to an eight-year deal apparently uh ooh, yo ken giles to the angels that's not a bad pickup for us Ma michael brantley to the mets trevor rosenthal to the twins white Sox andrew miller okay wow J what no, this just would not happen. The Orioles trade Ryan Mountcastle and Paul Fry to the Angels for Joe Adele. I just feel like that would not happen. The Rangers sign Marte. Okay. Uh, the Cubs sign Corey Kluber. All right. Uh, Reds sign Marcus Semien. Is there a way to skip these? Because, I mean, it's cool to see. Okay, I mean, I, that wasn't that long, actually. Wait, there's the, the Cardinals claimed somebody. I didn't see who it was. All right, so let's just uh, sim through spring training. I don't know if we need to do this. I don't know if it gets my players training points or anything. Um, okay, advanced regular season, and it's time to see how Mike Trout does this season now. See if any big trades are made or anything like that, too. Hopefully, the Angels can make the playoffs at some point in this career. Uh, Padres, okay. Mitch Walding for Luis Perdomo. Jacob Hayward to the Yankees for uh, Angel Aguilar. Lucas Duda to the Rays for Colin Moore. Okay. We're 27 and 21 so far. That's not a bad start to the season. Yo, this is looking pretty good for us. I guess our, uh, our, our moves we've made and stuff have worked. I'm still surprised to see him trade away Joe Adele. I still am very surprised about that. But hey, uh, I guess it's working out a little bit maybe. All right, man. Let's see where we're at at the All-Star break. So, Brewers trade Orlando Arcia to the Angels for Taylor Ward. All right. Wander Javier to the Brewers for Lane Huffman. Two trades with the Brewers back-to-back. -back. Uh, White Sox acquire Adalberto Mondesi from the Royals. That's a good pick -up maybe for them. I don't know where they'll put him. Four. Uh, three players. Okay. A good pickup probably for them. And uh, Clint Freight. What? Excuse me? Nah, nah, nah. Clint Frazier to the Cardinals from the Yankees for Paul DeYoung and Austin Gomber, bro. All right, man. Is this how the trades are in every franchise y'all do? Because I feel like none of these make sense. Hunter Dozier uh, to the Twins for Devin Smelter, Luis Garcia. Okay, I feel like these are not just like making sense, though. Kyle Hendricks from the Cubs to the Mets for Jeff McNeil, Wilson Ramos. I feel like the Mets don't need starting pitching maybe they do i don't know man but like that just seems like a weird trade to me the athletics acquire lance lynn from the rangers for bro this is this is more entertaining than mike trout's career right now for me sean Manaya and steven piscotti no that just wouldn't happen i it, maybe it would maybe i guess but it, to me it wouldn't the reds get uh whip merrifield for hunter green and jose garcia okay weird trades man these trades are blowing my mind right now. I'm having, I hope you guys are enjoying this video because uh, last time I did a franchise video, I don't think y'all enjoyed it that much, even though I was having a lot of fun. Um, but it's it's nice to mix things up and try new things once in a while. Uh, yo, Angels, 101 and 63. You guys heard it, heard it here first. 2021 division champs will be taking on the Rays in the division series. Okay. Um, that's pretty cool. Let's just see the standings. We were 13 games and had nice. And let's check Mike Trout again. I, I don't know if I turned the camera off for this last time. Uh, I probably should have, but we're gonna we're gonna turn it off for y'all right now, and just take a look at him. So, 46 homers, 127 RBIs, 321 average, 423 OBP, a much better season than last season. 1,000 fielding percentage again. You love to see it. 10.8 WAR. You love to see a great season from Mike Trout. I don't know if I went all the way to the end last time, but we did this time. And uh, not a bad season for Mike Trout. Not a bad season at all. You love to see it. And continues to play well. Definitely better than last season. So now let's just see if we can win the playoffs. Oh, that's the big camera. Now let's see if we can win the playoffs here. We're taking on the Rays in the first round. I hope we do. 
I hope we do. All right, let's just sim the first two. LL. Oh, I, I didn't mean to do that. Let's just sim through this one now. And we got swept. Okay. Uh, we just got swept by the Rays. And it is time to simulate the playoffs. The Yankees have defeated the Braves in the 2021 World Series. All right. Uh, can I see Mike Trout's postseason stats right here? Is, is that a thing I can see on this screen? I don't think it is. Uh, well, it's not a big deal, I don't think. Maybe, maybe y'all wanted to see it, but I don't think it's too big of a deal. And we're just going to simulate the... Ooh. All right. Mike Trout did not retire yet. That's good. So now let's go. Oh, Albert. Albert made the Hall of Fame. 659 homers, 299 average. You know, when I was younger, I definitely thought that he was going to break the home run record. And then uh, he kind of dwindled down a little bit. But hey, I think he will be a Hall of Famer. I would not be surprised if he was a first ballot Hall of Famer. The Rangers signed Noah Syndergaard to a five-year deal. Angels signed Corey Knable. Okay. Braves signed Kenley Jansen. And Brewers signed Carlos Martinez. Rocky signed Salvador Perez. Matt signed Travis Darno. Did they not just trade him on my game? Or am I stupid? I think I might be stupid. Cup sign of Water Rodriguez. Okay. Oops. Rockies. The Rockies signed Christian, Christian Yelich. What? Okay. Astros signed Andrew Haney. Red signed Francisco Lindor. Pirates signed Conforto. Okay. Uh, no, I would not like to stop simulating. Blue Jays signed Chris Bryant. Wow, these are weird. Indians acquired Nick Castellanos for James Paxton and Alfonso Gutierrez. Red signed Tommy Pham. I could see that happening a little bit. Rays acquire. Uh, no. Is there a way to just end spring training or do I need to simulate it every time? This is going to be a long video, by the way. This is going to be a long video. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I'll remember to do this. I would love in the... In the description and you, 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 you can do timestamps where it divides the video up or whatever i would love to do each season as its own timestamp. i just don't know if i will actually do that like in my head i want to do it but w when it comes down to doing it i feel like i won't remember to do it because i always forget that kind of stuff all right simulate draft sure um it'd be cool if we made the playoffs again we got swept in the first round which was definitely disappointing so i, I kind of hope we can make the playoffs again if I had to guess, I don't know if I think the Angels will make the playoffs in 2021. I feel like they probably won't. Uh, that's just my opinion, though. The Nationals acquire Ken Giles uh, for Sean Doolittle and Avon Herrera. Okay. I feel like Sean Doolittle could help our team a little bit. Maybe a good job to who's ever controlling those trades because it's not me. The White Sox acquire Corey Knable. From the Angels, but we receive Wilmer Defoe, Matt Foster, Lorenz Quintana. Um, I feel like that's too good of a, of a reliever for us to have given away, but whatever. Angels trade Chuck Taylor to the Nets. I swear to God, if we start losing a lot of games, Braves acquire Iman Marquez for Kenley Jansen and Jeffrey Ramos. Trade deadline right there. Nick Senzel. Reds get a few players. All right. I should have been checking the other divisions just to see who's winning them. But this is, a, this is a Mike Trout career simulation, right? That's all we care about is the GOAT. Trouty. Bees have not made the playoffs. The Trash Pandas have not made the playoffs. Hopefully, we will redeem them and make the playoffs. Angels have not made the playoffs. All right, it's time to check on Trout again. Let's just see where we were in the standings. Eight games back there. Wild card four games back. So, we are 1-4-3 on making the playoffs let's check mike trout's career yo he's injured did he dislocated his shoulder what oh mike Trout dislocated his shoulder it seems like he did that pretty late in the season though he had a lot of at bats more than 2020 it looks like he maybe got injured in 2020 yeah yeah and then only 134 games this season 142 last 28 homers 91 rbis 317 average 421 obp OBS still above, uh, OPS still above a thousand, not a great fielding percentage. He was probably trying to play through an injury, 8.7 WAR, pretty good though still. All right, not an amazing. I mean, that's a good season. It, yeah, it's a good season. Uh, let's send the postseason here and see. The Padres have defeated the Yankees. All right, Padres won the World Series in 2022. The Brewers also made the playoffs. 
there was Mets versus Padres and Yankees versus Athletics in the championship series. And uh, let's go ahead, advance to the offseason. Now it's where we see all the weird signings and all that good stuff. Retired players. No Mike Trout there. That's good to see. Robinson Cano and Miguel Cabrera making the Hall of Fame. Okay. Man, this is... It's, I've said it a few times already. This is going to be a long video. And that's just the thing. I don't know how much you guys want to see because I'm enjoying seeing all these things. The Cubs signed Jameson Tyone. The Yankees signed Wilson Contreras. Pirates signed Mike Clevenger. Ooh, Sean Manaya to the Twins. Aaron Judge to the Pirates. What? Excuse me? No. No. Joe Musgrove to the Nats. Jose Ramirez to the Rangers. Andrew Benintendi to the Rangers. Sonny Gray to the Twins. All right. Interesting. That's the man. Walmart go to the Orioles. Okay. Trey Turner to the Giants. I can see that. Will Myers to the Red Sox. Araldis Chapman to the Giants. I can't see that. I just can't. I, I, I can't see it. Tim Anderson to the Orioles. I don't know if I could see that either. Uh, I could tell Marte to the Indians. Maybe. Marcus sent me into the Reds for Garrett Richards, Brandon Nimmo, Josh Naylor to the Astros, Aaron Loop. Okay. Tommy Pham to the Marlins for Jose Iglesias and Luis Brinson. Luis Lewis. What am I saying? All right, man. It's time to sim through spring training. Hey, we had a terrible spring. It started off bad, and we, we got better, though. All right. Let's see how Mike Trout does this season. Let's see if we can make. Wait. Uh, I don't know what the message was. It's not important. It's not important, whatever the message was. Let's see if we can make the playoffs. Let's see if we can have a good season. Pirates trade Cole Tucker to the Angels for Matt Face. I feel like that's actually not a bad trade. Oh, I thought we were going to sweep him for a sec. Red Sox trade Jairo Munoz and Jack Mayfield to the Angels for Jones. Okay. Twins trade Tim Hill to the Angels for Ryan Howard. Hey, man, I feel like the Angels always need a little bit more pitching. I don't know how our offense is right now, though. Cardinals trade Royce Lewis to the Angels for Kirk Anthony. All right. I'm so interested to see what, like, the league leaders and, and, and stuff like that are in Mike Trout's last season. I don't know if there's a good way to see, too. Like, what if Mike Trout's contract is over in-game? He wants to keep playing and he signs with a new team. Will it tell me the team he signs with? I feel like he's a big-name player. Tampa Bay's claimed Jose Suarez off waivers from us. Um, I just I don't want to miss Mike Trout retiring because he's on a different team, right? That's my biggest point I'm trying to make right now is I don't want to miss that. What? The Angels acquire Jack Flaherty from the Cardinals for Cole Tucker, Brandon Marsh, and Matt Klein. No. Just looking at the overalls of these players, no, that would not happen. Um, Jack Flaherty, though, 3-6, and 4.1 ERA. Are the Cardinals bad, or is he having a bad season for that overall? Dominic Smith to the Rays, Vidal Brujan. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't see it was claimed off waivers. Probably not super important, though. Man, this has been strange. The moves that have been made. I I, uh, I mean, it's just, I, I guess there's no way to accurately predict the future, right? But wow. Uh, these trades and signings and stuff don't make sense to me. Cubs require Lordies from the Rays for those players. All right. I mean, an 85 and two 82s for an 82. That doesn't make sense to me. But maybe because it's the last year of his contract. Zach Gallon to the Pirates. Sure. Why not? Also, hopefully, okay, good. The microphone is working because sometimes uh, my microphone, after my computer has restarted itself, sometimes the microphone isn't always working. And I think it did that in the last few days since I last recorded. So I had to make sure. So the AAA team did not make the postseason. The AA team did not. And that means we probably won't. But looking at our record, we probably will. We won our division and we'll be taking on the Twins. Yes, we're going to check out Mike Trout's uh, stats now. I keep wanting to say attributes. We won our division by one game. The Athletics won the wild card. And have to take on the Blue Jays in a one game playoff. All right. Let's go ahead and see. Wait, Mookie Betts is on the Athletics? I feel like we did not see that. I feel like we did not see that. So let's check Mike Trout how he did this season 143 games. That's good to see. 309 average, 398 OBP, 1.14 OPS, 1.014. My bad. 37 homers, 113 RBIs. You love to see the RBIs. Struck out a lot, though. I don't like seeing that many strikeouts. 154. That is not a career high, but it's his most in a while. Um, you don't like to see that too much. His war, that's another thing we've been checking. Also, only two errors. Nine even for the war. That's not bad. His K percentage, terrible though. And then, uh, yeah, okay. 
not terrible. Jack Flaherty settled down a little bit. 4.13 ERA. I guess that's not too bad. Um, Yanni Torinos went off for us. So let's see how we do now in the playoffs. We are playing the Twins. And uh, let's go ahead and see how we do on the calendar. So let's turn the cam back on. First two games. Win-win. Come on. Let's go. We actually made it. All right. We're going to be taking on the Rays who swept us last time we played. Oh, my God. Please. We got to win this game. No, we got eliminated by the Rays. Dang it, man. You hate to see it. The Rockies have defeated the Tampa Bay Rays in the World Series. Darn, man. Brewers making the playoffs again, though. Um, but dang it, that kind of sucks. You win some, you lose some, though. At least we're making it further now. Retired players. Eloy Diaz. Um, for us, no Mike Trout. No Hall of Fame inductees. Yes, I like to exit. You know, there's nobody to see. And let's send the offseason. Start seeing some of the weird stuff. Josh Hader signs with the Cubs. Rugnet Odor to the Reds for Kike Hernandez and Daniel Davis. Or Rugnet Odor to the Athletics from the Red Sox. I, I just completely butchered that. Ryan McMahon to the Dodgers. Denelson Lamette to the Mets. Lucas Giolito to the Athletics. Julio Urias to the Red Sox. Tyler Molly to the Sox. R D I mean, I guess maybe at 35 years old, Jacob DeGrom to the Rockies. One year, 31 million deal. No, stop. MLB the show. Y'all are making no sense. Cody Bellinger to the Braves, nine-year, 171. No, no, no. Shohei Otani signing to the Rangers, maybe, I guess. Kyle Hendricks to the Angels. Do we want Kyle Hendricks? Maybe, uh, not really. Max Kepler to the Mets. Dallas Keuchel to the Nationals. I feel like that didn't even look like Dallas Keuchel. David Dahl to the Mets. I feel like Mets might make the playoffs. Twins to the Hunter Renfro. Michael Conforto to the Pirates for Hosmer and Patrick Wisdom, or, uh, flip-flop you know um for who i said all right man paul goldschmidt signs to the cubs what okay um wait who who else did the cubs sign man this is weird mariner sign alberto modesty cool tim anderson to the uh, rays from the orioles paul de young to the twins araldis chapman to the white Sox. jorge polanco to the marlins Michael Brantley to the White Sox with Araldis Chapman. What the heck is going on? What the heck is going on in this franchise? I'm gonna ha I, I'm gonna have to watch some rebuild videos for real and just see what type of trades and signings are happening in those. No, nah, we don't need to see those messages, I guess. Also, can we can we make the playoffs again, please, team? Can can y'all play a little bit better, please, and, and make the playoffs? Hey, we went on a little bit of a winning streak there. But now we're losing a lot of games. We just got swept by the Mariners. What? I guess I don't really know what teams are good or not anymore, though, in my franchise. I mean, I guess it's not too unrealistic, you know, even in real life. The the Brady Singer to the Rays. 85 overall, though. Eh. Still, weird trade. I don't like that trade. Max Muncy to the Rangers for Matt Strom, Kobe Allard. That just would not happen. Maybe it would. I don't think it would, though. This trade seems like it wouldn't happen. Maybe it would, though. But a lot of these trades just seem... And I know I'm probably like a broken record at this point. But a lot of these trades just seem unlikely to me. Also, I gotta check Mike Trout's age. Oh, I didn't see that trade. Um, I gotta check Mike Trout's age at the end of this season. Because I don't even know how close we are to done. I don't, I don't know exactly how long his contract's for. For some reason, I want to say it was 11 years. And this might be like the fourth year of it or something. But I really don't know again. Um, I, I'm really not sure. So triple A team made the playoffs. Double A team did not. So it's a 50-50 chance that we do. It looks like we will though. They were eliminated. Dang it. Come on, bees. Hey, we won our division again. We're taking on the race. Can we stop? Yo, 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 yo. I'm sorry I, for yelling right there. Uh, I wanted to say, can we stop playing the Rays? And then we got we, we got beat by the Rays again. So we've made the playoffs, what, three times, four times? And every time we've been beaten by the Rays, I don't like that. Um, we won our division, six games, Astros and Indians, wildcard teams, barely. And uh, let's check Mike Trout. Let's see how he did. I, I forgot to check all this. Um, and then I forgot to check who's, who won the World Series. I was just, I was caught off guard a little bit. So Mike Trout, 142 games. That's good to see. 45 homers, 150 strikeouts. You don't like the strikeouts. Um, 305 average. He's 32 years old. I would say he's going to play 
Uh, maybe eight more seasons. How many? How, can we see his contract? So he plays until 2030. So what was this year? 2024. So that means uh, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. I would. I don't know if he'll play any more in the game. I mean, I feel like he's going to be good enough to play more. I just don't know if he will. But uh, 305 average, 406 OBP. That OPS is insane right there. That's great. You love to see that. Um, one air. That's cool. And then his war, 9.88. His best since 2021. You love to see that. Okay. Not a bad season from Trout. And then the playoffs, the Pirates defeated the Rays. Weird, but okay. Sure. Why not, game? Why not? I mean, it's 2024. I guess anything could happen. Let's go to the offseason. These are taking a while. Man, I don't I don't know if I'm doing this video how people do. Uh all right, Mike Trout did not retire. I don't know if I'm doing this video how people do career resumes and stuff. I don't know if they're typically this long. Uh, I don't know if they cut some of this stuff out. If they cut all the regular season out, the White Sox signed Walker Bueller. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to see the White Sox win the World Series in the next year in the game, in the next year or two, just based on the signings they've had. Show or not? Why did I say Shohei Otani? Tyler O'Neill to the Reds. What a terrible year he had. 223 average. Oh my God. Brandon Woodruff to the Braves. Mets, Alex Bregman. Corbin Burns. AJ Minter to the Indians. Angels signed Giovanni Gallegos. I like that signing. Chris Paddock to the Cardinals. Paddock. John Gray to the Yankees. Frankie Montas to the Yankees. All right. I think we're still going to see more of these. Yeah, Robbie Ray. Yanni Chirinos. Juan Soto to the Rays. I don't see it happening. Mike Myers to the White Sox. Dude, my, White Sox are making moves. Matt Strom keeps going lots of places. David Bodie to the Astros. Jerickson Profar to the Padres. White Sox signed Schwarber. Ramon Laureano to the Giants. All right. Uh, Yankees signed Tatis. I could see this happening. 99 overall. Uh, I, I could I could truly see this happening when his time in San Diego is up. 26 years old. I could see this happening. Uh, it's going to cost a lot of money. 127 million. I think it's going to cost more than that. I really do, but I could see it happening. Obviously, Al Garcia to the Cubs, Dominic Smith to the Phillies, Yanni Diaz to the Mariners. Lots of moves, man. Lots of moves being made. Rays, Goldschmidt to the Brewers from the Cubs. <laughs> JP Crawford to the Rockies, Freddie Peralta to the Phillies for Jordan Luffalo, Luke Voigt signed by the Mariners. Jeremy Pena, Kevin Biggio to the Red Sox for Will Myers and Josh Fuentes. Okay. All right. Uh, let's sim through spring training here. Not a bad spring for us. 13 and 13, 500. You'd love to see it. I feel like we didn't play that many spring training games. And let's sim the season. Do we open up the, the season versus the Astros every time? Oh, God. This is starting off bad. Oh, yikes, man. Oh, wait. Next time we play the White Sox, I got to see their record. So we don't play the White Sox this month. I just the, the White Sox, based on their signings, I feel like they got to have a good team. Maybe not, though. Dog, we are doing terrible. Braves trade. Jose Abreu to the Angels for Andrew Wance. Okay, that seems like it could be a good pickup for us. Uh, do we play the White Sox this month? It doesn't look like it. Dog, we are getting trashed. Hey, this is not a good season for us. Cole Peterson into the Angels. Devin Ramirez. No, no, no. Francisco Alvarez to the Angels. And the Brewers get Oscar Mercado, Chris Rodriguez, Deshaun Knowles. Um, I guess that's not a big deal. Uh, it doesn't seem like Francisco Alvarez is having a great season, but hey. No. Skip. No. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. And uh, White Sox trade Michael Feliz for Brian Girard. Man, are we not playing the White Sox that much? Let's see. See, I'm not recognizing a lot of these names now. Oh, wait. Yeah, we played the White Sox. They are 50. Oh, wait. They're worse than us. Oh, they're worse than us. What the heck? Yeah, I don't think we're making the playoffs. That kind of sucks. Hey, the Trash Pandas made the playoffs at least. I'm still sad we're not going to, though. So, yeah, let's just... I, I should just sim the playoffs, honestly, and then check Trout. But, oh, well. I've decided to do it this way, so we're doing it this way. 
And uh, let's go ahead and see. So 45 home runs again. That's good. 107 RBIs, 150 strikeouts. Stop striking out so much, man. Uh, it's 284 average, not great. 370 in OBP. Uh, OPS still above 1,000. You'd love to see that. Let's see the war. Uh, fielding percentage, 990. Not terrible. 9.2 war. That's good. And then, okay. Yeah, not 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 his best season, but not a terrible season by any means. And uh, that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and see who's going to win the World Series. Sim through the postseason. And the Red Sox have defeated the Reds in the postseason. All right. I guess so, man. 2025. Interesting year. Let's advance to the offseason and uh, see what's going on this offseason here. Viewer retired players. Still no. Uh, still no Mike Trout. So that's good. Okay. Let's turn the cam back on and uh, let's simulate the offseason. I wish there was a way to make this go a little bit faster. I thought I pressed that already. My bad. Vlad Jr. to the Phillies. Hey, Shelfie, you heard it here first, man. In, uh, in the 2025 offseason, you heard it here first. We signed Mitch Keller. That's probably good. We need starting pitching. 94 overall starting pitcher. That's good. Will Smith to the Indians. Dylan Carlson to the Braves. Zach Gallen to the Rays. Brian to the uh, to the Braves, Jose Castillo to the Astros. I just don't like that those pop up, you know. Carter Keboom to the Brewers. Who traded him? I forgot, man. Or, or for who was he traded for? I don't remember. I think no, I don't remember. Nate Pearson to the Brewers. Wow, Brewers are gonna have a good team. It seems like too. Michael Chavis to the White Sox. Josh Bell to the Braves. Okay, I could see that. You know, after playing with the Nationals, even though he wasn't. Bo Bichette to the Cardinals. All right, Kevin. Uh, I guess we're getting Bo Bichette when he's 28 years old, man. I guess we are picking up Bo Bichette. <laughs> Amir Garrett to the Astros. Josh James to the Mariners. Trent Grisham to the Orioles. Cardinals sign Miles Straw. A Rosarena to the Astros. Weird, man. So weird. Jacob DeGrom to the Royals for a one-year deal. All right. Let's see, let's see. Any big name guys? Luis Arias. Trey Mancini to the Pirates, one year deal. Pirates sign somebody else. Let's send the off season. Or spring training. We just sim the off season. And let's sim. Let's see if we can make the playoffs this season. We just lost our first game. That's not a good sign. Casey Mize to the Phillies for Freddie Peralta and a few other guys. Okay. Oh, keep winning games, guys. All right, man, we're not winning that many games. I want to know what these these messages are that are popping up. I'm sure it's about injuries and stuff like that. We just got swept by the Rays. Oh, my God, dude. The Rays are our kryptonite. KJ Harrison, 89 over. I guess, okay. Uh, uh, Liam Hendricks, not that high of an overall anymore. That's just a weird trade to me, though. That's still a little bit weird. There's been a lot of those trades, though. Three guys for one player trades. We are losing a lot of a, a lot of series right now. We're losing like two out of three in a lot of these series, and it's not looking too good for us. There's another two out of three. I think we just swept a team, but then two out of three again. We got Sir Anthony to Dominguez from the Phillies. We traded Michael Feliz, though. Yeah. I, I, I'm mainly looking for like big names. Like Max Kepler's, I guess, a kind of big name, more recognizable for me. Uh, or trades that we're involved in, the Angels are involved in. I kind of wish there was a way to make it so only trades that my team was involved in popped up. I guess maybe it does 85 overall or higher trades. You know, diamond level players, maybe. Dodgers picked up Royce Lewis there. I don't think we're going to make the playoffs. I don't think we're going to make the playoffs. I'm going to take a drink because 35 minutes of talking, my voice is kind of tired. Yo, none of our levels are making the playoffs. Wow. Wow. That's terrible. Um, no, I'm just going to sim this. So, Giants have defeated the Yankees in the World Series. Okay. Um, and then let's see how Mike Trout did this season. So, let's go ahead and do this. Skip those. Turn the cam off for y'all. And uh, 34 years old. 306 average. Hey, his average above 300 again after having a season not there. 
48 OB piece. Uh, 1.087 OPS, his best OPS since 2021. That's great to see. 50 home runs. This was his best season in a while. Strikeouts were down. Walks were up. Home runs up. Average up. RVIs up. OPS up. Everything was up for Mike Trout this season. You love to see that. And uh, we want to see his war and his fielding percentage now. A, only one air and then 10.4 war. Um, let me actually just check too that I'm not running out of space on my computer. So this video is actually recording right now. Um, it is. Okay, we got plenty of space. My bad. I just I had to check just to make sure. Just Otherwise, I was talking to nobody and I was going to be wasting a lot of time. But hey, not, not bad. Hey, yo, 10.4. His, his best season. Literally his best season since, uh, since 2021. Wow, that's awesome. We are super happy to see that. And, uh, and then the World Series again, Giants over Yankees. Let's go to the offseason now. I'm sad, though. I'm sad for Mike Trout how bad the Angels are doing. Uh, oh, that's just qualifying offer. So retired players still know Mike Trout. Okay, you'd love to see that. And again, I assume, you know, once Mike Trout's contract is up with, with us, uh, I guess we'll know, right, when we're checking his stats from that previous season, we'll know. We'll be able to see, like, hey, uh, this was Mike Trout's last season. And I might personally be able to offer him a, a free agent contract in the inside Dustin May. 91 overall. That's cool. Um, but I just, I want to make sure we can either sign him or that I know what team he went to. And I assume he'll pop up on one of these because I think he's still 99 overall. I think he probably will be. Uh, Twins acquire Clint Frazier from the Marlins. I guess the Cardinals traded Qu Clint Frazier. I guess. Corey Knavel to the Padres. Rangers acquire Mitch Keller. Okay. There's a lot of these though. That's the thing. It's like, I, 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 I wish there was a better way to do this, an easier way to do this or something. I don't know if you guys even care about this. Um, I don't know. I just, I, I wish, I wish there was a way to take these off if you guys didn't like them, stuff like that. Just cause I feel like, I feel like this, all this stuff is, is making it a little bit longer than it should be. Like if you're doing a, a rebuild on Madden or something, you're doing franchise, right? Do these pop up? Do you see what team sign other players is the diamondbacks sign nolan arenado to a one-year deal i just don't know if that's his thing oh my bad um let's turn the camera back on okay and uh sim spring training Ooh, that's not a bad spring for us actually it got worse but still not a bad spring hopefully a good sign for uh for our season here as we started off against the athletics oh god man we started off kind of bad can we get to 500? We're above. Oh, that's good. That's a good time. We're above 500. We're winning. We're winning the division. I'm calling it right now. We're... Maybe not, man. Maybe maybe we're not winning the division. Maybe I don't call it. Right when I said that, I feel like we started doing terrible. Maybe we'll pick it up though. Hey, we did kind of pick it up actually. Low key. We got to beat division teams though, like the Athletics, man. We're not we're not doing well against them. We need this one against the Astros. We won it. Okay, that's big. Into the break, 48 and 50. Um, let's see. Let's see. Wow. All right, this is not going super well. Dude, yeah. And we're starting to get into uh, players that I don't know now. There's a lot of guys that I don't know that are being the high overall guys. But that's okay. Also, that trade, I was just I was glancing at the overalls. It looked like a 90 for like a 79, 72, and 69 or something, which just doesn't seem to make sense to me. But hey, it's a game. And uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I don't do these too often. So it looks like we're not making the playoffs, which is very sad. Yeah. Wow. Um, no, let's just sim through the, uh, the regular season. Pirates defeated the Blue Jays. I told y'all pirates were winning the world series. I literally, I think I said, or did I say white Sox? I think I said pirates. Maybe. No, probably not. Was it pirates versus Yankees last world series? I don't know. For some reason, I, the pirates were on my mind. Um, and Mike Trout is no longer the highest overall on the team. He's tied with Francis. Is that Francisco? Yeah, Francisco Alvarez. Okay. Um, let's see how he did. 254 average. Wow, okay. Uh, Mike Trout, 318 average. His best average in a while. OPS below 1,000, though. Only 37 home runs. And he struck in 148 times. So his average was good, but everything else was not that great. He's continuing to regress. 35 years old few years left in this contract that was the 2027 season his last season is 2030 and let's just see his war three airs you don't like to see that eight war you know definitely a down year for him definitely a down year for mike trout here in the game and uh, how many games did he play that season 
143, so he played a, a, a long season, but just not the best for him. Let's send him to the offseason. Yes. Um, blah, 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 blah. View retired players. Still no. Mike Trout. Hey, Stanton and Kershaw making the pl the playoffs. Making the Hall of Fame. Stanton ends with 567 homers, 269 average. Kershaw, look at that career area. Right? That's insane. Not quite in the 300 win club, but definitely in the 3000 strikeout club that's just a great season a, a great career for uh for oh this is kind of cool seeing this oh wait oh no never mind i would rather just go to the calendar yeah definitely a pretty good career for kershaw though adrian morehon i always say more john though man there's so many players that i just don't know and see, that's the thing. It's like, I don't know if these guys, like, Alex, obviously not Alex Reyes signing with the Yankees, but some names will pop up. I know Forrest Whitley is real. Evan White is. Uh, I don't know about Grayson Rodriguez, though. Christian Pache, I know. But, you know, there's some names uh, where it's like, I don't know if it's a real person or not. But now not now when I say that all these names, I'm recognizing them. Um, but there's some names popping up. It's like, I don't know if that's a real player or if it's a computer-generated one. I, I'm really not sure for some of these. Carlos Rodon. Oh, my bad. I keep forgetting to turn the cam on now. Jorge Bonifacio to the Indians. Dom T. Williams. Gabriel Bubba. Andre Noel V. Noel V. Cole. Kyle Schwarber to the Mets. 35 years old. 90 overall. Harrison Bader to the Mets. Woo, okay. Carlos Carrasco to the Pirates. Did it say he was a closing pitcher? Max Kepler. David Dahl to the Marlins. Joe Adele to the Athletics. From the Orioles okay nolan arenado a hey, cardinals fans nolan arenado finally signing with the cardinals oh man and it, is that 2028 wow god this is a long video i'm sorry y'all i didn't realize it was gonna be it was gonna be so long today but hey hopefully y'all like it uh i i would be very surprised if, if there is anyone watching right now comment down below pudding if you are watching this video right now comment down below pudding and if I see you comment putting, you are you are truly a real MVP. Because I I personally, maybe there are, but I personally would be surprised if there's somebody watching at this exact moment in the video. I don't know. Maybe there is. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe I'm underestimating y'all or, or not having enough confidence in myself in my videos. But I would just be very surprised if there was someone watching at this exact moment. But hey, you never know. Maybe I shouldn't be, be negative like that. But uh, it's just been it's been a long video already. And I feel like most people probably care about, you know, the end of the career. They don't really care about this, this middle of his career. I think I saw, wait, never mind. I was going to say, I think I saw Michael Kopech on the Mariners, but I don't think so. Man, so many names that I just don't recognize. Like, I didn't recognize a single one in that trade. This trade, I don't think I do either. Hunter Bishop, for some reason, seemed familiar, but still, I, I wouldn't say I recognize it. Are we having a bad season again? Jesus, man. Oh, my God. See, maybe I need to do a rebuild. Maybe I need to do a rebuild for the Angels next because this is uh, this is not going well. Also, when people do rebuilds, how long are they? Because I see some where I, I think it's just one season. Is that what a, like, a traditional rebuild is? God, I really hope people are watching now. Um, is a traditional rebuild just where... You do one season and try to make the playoffs. Because I, I see people doing 20-year rebuilds, 10-year rebuilds. But then what's what's just a, a, a typical rebuild? You know, I, I, I don't know. I don't really watch rebuilds too often. Like I said, I, I, it's been a while. I, I haven't watched one. God, in a long time. Um, and when I do, I typically skim through them, you know, which I, I figure people do on this video too. So I'm not sure. Giants have defeated the White Sox. Hey, I told y'all White Sox would win one and they made it this one, but they didn't win it. Uh, the Giants won the World Series. Okay. It's time to, uh, we were, we were 27 games back. Okay, man, that's sad. Uh, it's time to check Mike Trout. Wow. I just don't get this, man. It, 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 oh, man, I really hope there's somebody watching right now who, who plays franchise. Because am I stupid for thinking that that regression is terrible? In two seasons, I'm pretty sure, he's gone from a 99 overall down to an 86 I understand he's 36 years old, but I feel like that is just terrible regression. And then he plays the most games he's ever played in his career? What?
Am I? I feel like that just doesn't make any sense. I might be stupid, but I feel like that doesn't make any sense. I really, I, I need to write down how far we are in the video right now because I, I need to comment about this and ask y'all. I feel like that regression is terrible. So about 46 minutes in, I think a little bit less, but about 46 minutes in, I feel like that is just some God awful regression. And so he plays the most games in his career though. <laughs> 31 homers, cool. Some of the most strikeouts in his career, if not the most, one of the worst averages in his career, one of the worst OPSs um fielding so did he dh oh i think he dh'd okay so it looks like he was the dh for most of the season um 1000 fielding cool 3.6 war but yeah it looks like he was the dh uh is there a way for me to see the lineup yeah mike trout dh you know that makes sense uh that makes sense that he's the dh i guess actually uh but still still man i just oh uh. I feel like that is just some terrible regression. I don't know. I'm sorry for getting so hung up on that, but that's just not, uh, oh man, that just seems really bad. At least he's not retiring yet. He has, I think, two, two more seasons in his contract, right? I think 2030 is the last one. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure 2030. Taylor Trammell to the Cubs, okay. Joey Bart to the Orioles. Let's turn the cam back on. Alec to the Twins. Mackenzie Gore to the Rangers. Seth Romero, White Sox. Corbin Burns to the Pirates. No. Lolo Sanchez, Bo Naylor. Bobby Wood Jr. to the Cubs. Roberto Osuna to the Athletics, 34 years old. Drew Mendoza, D-backs. Chris Bryant to the Phillies for a one-year deal. Chris Bryant is older than Trout and is a high overall. No, just no. That's no, nah, man. What the heck? Yeah, I feel like that's just some terrible regression. I don't know. Maybe it's because they made him a DH. Maybe that's why, but... I don't know. That's just... Oh, Mariners signed Schwarber to a one-year deal. Yelich to... Wait, who did Yelich just sign with? Did that say Cubs? Why did I skip through that so fast? I'm sorry. I wanted to see that. I wanted to see that, man. Ahmed Rosario to the Angels. Okay. Uh, I feel like the Angels aren't making a lot of moves, it seems like. And it seems like we're going to be an another terrible team again terrible spring training come on come on trout can, can can trout progress this season and have a really good season can can he do something can we make the playoffs for mike trout can, can we make the world series for for one time in his career he can't carry us it seems like anymore oh man hey we have shane bieber the angels have not done well good thing i'm not the gm nico horner to the Rangers from the Nationals for Noah Syndergaard, who's a 79 overall. I mean, I guess he's getting older. He's kind of regressed in real life a little bit, too. But I think he dealt with some injuries, too. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of sad, just, just for the career simulation for Mike Trout, that... Uh, sorry, I, I'm... I'm, I'm I, it's been a long video. I'm starting to lose my train of thought a little bit. I'm kind of sad for the career simulation that the Angels did so badly. Like, I, I wanted Mike Trout to, you know, make the playoffs, win a World Series in his career at least once. And uh, it doesn't look like that's happened in this video. And I don't know if it will happen in real life. I just don't know if the Angels can do it. I hope they can, but it's a tough division they're in. And I think they just got to keep improving the team and getting more pitching. I think pitching is a big thing they lack, at least in my own eyes. But I could be wrong. I don't know a lot about baseball. Uh, that's a goal for 2021 of mine is to kind of get more into baseball and, and learn more about each individual teams and individual players as the Rockies defeat the Rangers in the 2029 World Series. Mike Trout, we're coming up on his final year of his contract. Let's see what his overall is now. Jesus Christ. 77 overall he mike trout is in triple a i'm sorry what no way no way 51 minutes i'm sorry i really hope there's some of y'all who are watching this point in this video right now i feel like when mike trout is 37 years old he will not be in triple a in the last three or four seasons he has gone from a 99 overall to a 77 overall 
I feel like that just will not happen. I, I feel like that is some terrible regression. I already talked about it a few minutes ago in the video, um, but I hope there's somebody watching this video right now who, who tells me if this is a normal thing in franchise or if they think this is accurate because I feel like this regression system is just terrible. In three or four seasons, I think it is, maybe even three seasons, going from a 99 overall to a 77 overall down to AAA. I just feel like that should not be happening. Um, he played 81 games with the Angels, apparently, still this season. 272 average, 17 homers, uh, 838 OPS. So he did a little bit better than last season, but he also played about half as many games. And uh, as y'all can see, too, uh, if you guys did not see a few minutes ago in the video, he played the most games in his career. I understand he was the DH for the team and stuff, so that makes a little bit more sense. But, like, look how bad it was a drop-off. He, he went from literally his best season since 2021 to his worst season that just doesn't make sense does it going from his best to his worst season in the last nine years of the game um we'll sh i'll show you guys war in a sec too i'll show you his war uh while we're here because there there's hopefully going to be a couple more people than usual watching at this point in the video since i th i think i should maybe have a comment hopefully about this i hope so or maybe something in the description um but 2.1 war you guys can see uh 10.4 here Okay, to some terrible seasons. I think I might have said this was his worst, but you know it wasn't. But um, 10.4 down to this. And the last time he had above 10 was in 2021. So it's like he goes from, you know, 10.8 to that. Gets better, better, worse, way better, worse, way worse, way worse. It just, it doesn't make sense to me, man. How the regression can come on so quickly and so terribly. It just makes absolutely no sense to me. But may maybe that's how franchises normally maybe this is out of the ordinary too i don't know i don't really uh pay attention to this stuff too often in franchise um i like to trade around players a lot do legends and stuff whenever i do franchise so i really don't know uh mike trout's going to be playing next season uh, i think i'm going to try to kenley jansen making the hall of fame i think if i have the option to before we simulate the next season i'm going to promote mike trout to the mlb if i can if he's not so we'll just have to see what's going on a um, lot of names that I just don't really recognize, which is understandable here. Cabert Ruiz, I do recognize him. I'm hoping I see somebody, though, that I recognize. I want to see some big names pop up. I want to see some big names here. Look at that beard. No. I think we should be coming to an end, though. I think this is going to be the last season. Matt Thace, right there. I think that Jiwon Bay, I like that name. I think this should be uh, Mike Trout's last season, especially because it's overall. I don't think he's going to sign with anybody. Maybe, though. Uh, Jazz Chisholm to the Braves. Angels acquire Isaac Paredes and Chris Avocado for Brandon Waddle from the Pirates. Tyler O'Neill to the Phillies, two-year deal. Aristides Aquino to the Rangers, a one-year deal. Brady Singer to the Rockies from the Rays. Lane Thomas, Christian Yelich to the Diamondbacks for a one-year deal. All right, man. Baltimore claimed Connor Capel off of waivers. Sim Spring. No. And then let me see here if we can promote Mike Trout to the MLB if he's not. So let's go to the roster. Um, I, I assume he's going to be center fielder. So he is in the MLB. That's good. He is in the MLB. His overall went up. From 77 to 82. Is it, so what, what is it going to be at the end of the season? I, I, is there something I should be doing? Because I, I have everything on auto. Am I not doing something for training maybe? Like should I have been doing this? But it's, it's all on auto. Where's Mike Trout? There he is. Bunting drills? Why do we have Mike Trout on bunting drills? He's 38 years old. We don't need him on bunting drills, man. Oh my goodness, dude. What is going on? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me let me check check one more time to make sure Mike Trout is uh is on the MLB roster. Okay, he is. Alright, awesome. Sick. That's good to see at least. I just hope he's not on AAA by the end of the season. God, we're so bad. The Angels are just terrible in the game. Oh man. Well, we made the playoffs a few years, and then we haven't in a long time. I guess this season, I was about to say, I guess this season's going a little bit better than the last, but we're slowly losing a lot of games. Come on, get to 500, team. Get to 500, team. Come on, man. Oh, we're close. Oh, we're far. Maybe we'll get close again. Oh, we're kind of getting close. No. 
We're pulling away. Oh, no. Angels acquire three players for an 85 overall player. I don't like that trade. Just looking at it. You know, quick little glance. I don't like it too much. Skip. I should have been keeping track of what teams were. I mean, maybe someone could do this. I should have been keeping track of what teams made the World Series and what teams won the World Series every year. Just to see if, like, a, a team won it a lot or made it a lot or something like that. You know, just see, see if one team was just dominating throughout Mike Trout's career uh, simulation. Let's see. September. Yeah, we're not making the playoffs. Dang it, man. That's sad. That's sad. This might, This very well is Mike Trout's last year. This very well could be Mike Trout's last season uh, in the game, but it, it, for the Angels, too. You know, it, it, it's the last year of his contract. The Rockies have defeated the Yankees. The Yankees have been in the World Series a few times. I think the Rockies have as well. I think they might have won it a couple times now. Um, and let's check the roster. Let's see. Let's see. So he went from a 77 to an 82 during the offseason in spring training. And now he is... A 73 overall, 82 games played, 261 average, 14 homers, 819 OPS. Oh man, it's yeah. This is uh okay. He he really has regressed. 1.6 WAR. 1.6 war last year of his contract was 2030 that was this season oops and uh we're gonna see we're gonna see if he retires is that it for mike trout's career also uh just because that could be it for mike trout's career um let me go to center fielders and just take one more one more look at his statistics real quick to compare him to if we want to compare him to uh i know i just did this but to compare the bottom to uh to the beginning of the video maybe get a picture at least of like the war and some other stuff like that but uh hey that could have been mike trout's last season of his career we're gonna see if he has retired when we advance to the offseason and he did not okay so wait 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 he won't be a free agent really will he? yeah i don't think so um and he would be in the hall of fame too so yeah okay so let's try to sign Mike Trout if we can. So can we view this? Is this a thing? Mike Trout. I can't do this, can I? Because I have it set on auto. Oh man. Um Let me see something. Let me see something. All right, let's let's just sim the off season a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can. I guess we'll see if we sign Mike Trout though. I guess we'll see what team he's on. Sorry, I, I, again, I'm new to this, guys. I'm new to this. So we probably won't see him pop up here. I don't think we would pop. Well, I don't think we'll see Mike Trout pop up here if he does. Just because he's such a low overall now. And it seems like that only does certain overalls. Jared Walsh. Yeah, we're probably not going to see him. Jacob Webb. Um, Joe Adele to the White Sox from the Athletics for Bobby Bradley, Bob Bermundo, and Salvador Cabral. Huh. Okay. I feel like for the overalls that some of these players are, they're doing terrible in terms of hitting for average and stuff like that that I'm seeing. So let's sim the spring training and uh, let's just go ahead and try to see what team Mike Trout's on. If he's on our team or not. I hope he's on our team. Center fielders. So he's not. So we are going to see what team he's on. Let me know if y'all see Mike Trout here. He could, be, he could very well be a free agent, too.
I don't see him. Yeah, I didn't see him. I think I've looked through all the teams, I'm pretty sure. Uh, is there a way to see? Like, is there a way to search for a player? Free agents. Yeah, I don't... Am I missing something? Did, did he maybe retire? Did I, did I maybe, I, I mean, he would have made, he would have made the, the, the hall of fame though, right? Uh, player search. Oh, player search. Can I do name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Name. So we got to do trout. Oh, dang it, man. Come on again. Sorry guys. I'm kind of new to this a little bit. So trout and then submit search. So he's a free agent. Sign free agent. Um, does it say what he's looking for? I got to release a player. Oh, man. Um, I'm sorry, guys. This is the, again, this is a career simulation. So we got to release somebody. Bye-bye. Uh, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I, I don't know who that is, but I'm sorry. So now, hopefully it saves my, uh, my search. Or my, the, the trout thing. No, we just got to type it in. Okay. Let's see how long I can sign him for. I want to try 15. Wait, what? I'm sorry. I did it actually just do that. What? <laughs> uh... Uh, he, <laughs> yo, that, that's not going to actually happen, is it? We just signed Mike Trout to a 15 year contract. Okay. Let's keep simulating. I think we just hit the hour mark on the video. Let's keep simulating. What the heck, man? That's weird that it lets you do that. I mean, the thing is, I'm pretty sure they're going to retire due to age at some point. But maybe not. Man, this is a long video, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a long video. I'm actually, wh while we're simulating, I'm actually going to check again just to, to make sure we have space. I don't think we, sh it, it, so it was at 394, 387. Oh, yeah, no, we, it's, it's going plenty fast. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, wow. What a long video. I feel like I'm Bangle right now. If any of y'all know who Bangle is, that's what I'm feeling like with his Madden stuff. I I I don't know if he really does career rebuild, uh, career simulations. I know he does a lot of rebuilds and like 20 year rebuilds that are super long. But Jesus, man, this has been an interesting career for Mike Trout. I didn't even see that trade. Oh man, this is this is uh. This is terrible, though. Look how the Angels are doing. I feel bad for signing Mike Trout to a... He's got to endure 15 more years of this unless he feels like he's too old. That's the thing. I, I don't know. I don't pay attention enough when I play franchise, and I, I don't go through franchises enough like this to know. Um, Mets have defeated the Mariners in the World Series. I don't go through them enough to know, you know, uh... Can you sign a player to a 15-year contract? Like, I've never done that before. And will they retire of old age if you try to do a contract like that? I assume they will. So, center fielders, double A, 67 overall. Jesus. Uh, he's on the trash pandas now. He played two games in the MLB. Um. So, I guess if y'all want to see... You know, compared to what it was previously, he was 0 for 1. No, 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 no. He was 1 for 8. My bad. He was 1 for 8. 125 average. Negative. Oh, his war was negative, man. I mean, th that that's what it was. Th those were his stats compared to the beginning of his career. I feel like he might retire after this season now. Uh, as the Mets beat the Mariners in the World Series. Yo, Mark. Mets. 2031 World Series champs. You heard it here first. Advanced off season. View retired players. Did Mike Trout not retire? He didn't. Why? 
Why? <laughs> Hey, Mookie Betts and Freddie Freeman, both retiring. 478, 441 home runs, 301 and 293 for their averages. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and sim this offseason. Is Mike Trout really going to play the rest of his contract since I signed him to a 15-year one? Garrett Crochet to the Indians. Xavier Edwards, Nick McKnight. Um... Because if that's the case, I legit might just release him. If he's not playing a game... Ooh, Tatis to the Rangers. What? Um, Joey Bart to the Yankees. Because if he's not playing any games for us as the Yankees sign Nick, uh, if he's not playing any games for us, I feel like I might as well just release him because then there, then there's no point to continue in these seasons, right? Carter Keboom to the Pirates. Alec Bohm to the Padres. Oops. Oh. Oh, wait. Simulate draft. Yeah. I don't even know. I don't even know if I'm still simulating right now. Okay, I am. That seemed to go a little bit faster. Maybe Scott King to the Cubs. Oh, Sim Spring training. Why did we just do so good? Yo, are we actually gonna make the the, the playoffs? I really hope so. Please tell me we're gonna have a good season. Oh God, never mind. Maybe not. Wow. Wow, dude. Oh. Oh man, our team is just so bad. Hey, Michael Kopech's still on the White Sox though. That's kind of cool to see. Other other than that, I'm looking at I'm trying to look at names. I'm not doing it very well, but I'm trying to look at names. And I'm not really recognizing too many names. I think I just saw Joe Palumbo. But I'm not recognizing too many names of pitchers besides that. Mitch Keller maybe. I thought he was never mind. I'm not even going to say that. Let's see if there's any, oops. Let's see if there's any trades coming up. Any big trades, any big trades? Nah. Oh, oh, look at that big trade. <laughs> one for one. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're not gonna make the playoffs again. That's fine. I guess it's fine. Doesn't really matter. Hey, our double A team made the playoffs. That's cool. We were defeated in the championship though. Uh, yeah, let's send the regular season. The Rockies have defeated... Yo, the Rockies are going off, I feel like, recently in my career. Or in, in Mike Trout's career, this franchise. So let's go to this, the center fielders. Mike Trout. Does that mean he was an all-star? I don't know. Um, Mike Trout, though, did not play any MLB games in 2032. Literally did not. So if that is the case, I'm going to release Mike Trout next season because he didn't play any games if he doesn't retire. Um, because there's no point in having him for just double A. I, I think it kind of defeats the purpose of this career simulation, right? Um, so let's advance off season. Yes, you retired players. And Mike Trout retired. Okay, so he did retire. Uh, I think at 31 years, uh, at 41. So he, he retired. So now, this is what we wanted to see. Um, even though we just saw this last season, we wanted to see where he's at at the end of his career. He went from a 99 overall down to, I think, like, I think I said maybe a 63 overall or something. I don't know. Um, but this is where he ended at. We can compare this to the beginning. Uh, hopefully, I have this picture side by side with e either picture or footage um, with this and then this. So, he ended with 158.9 for his career war. Not too bad. I'm assuming... He's going to make the Hall of Fame, probably with Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant did not make the Hall of Fame, but Manny Machado did and Francisco Lindor did. So Trout, 665 career homers, did not quite make the 3,000 hit club. I feel like he will in real life. I could be wrong on that, though, but I feel like he will. 300 average even. That's pretty cool to see. And the last thing that I wanted to see is league leaders if i can see that right now but i don't think i can i think we got to wait till the next okay so if you guys want to stick around for the, the rest of the video i just want to see if he, he led the league in anything uh for his career i want to see if, if there was anything in his career that he led uh the mlb for or any seasons any records anything like that we just kind of want to check that real quick before we go but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's a little it's a lot different than normal um probably a little bit all over the place because i've never really done anything like this like comment subscribe social medias all that good stuff comment section though let me know any tips ways that i can make this better do you want me to only show the results the playoffs like i just i don't know exactly what i should be doing 
when it comes to a rebuild or for this instance a career re-simulation i just i don't know what you guys like to see i don't know the best way to do these i don't know if i talk too much i don't know if this was exactly how y'all wanted it to be i don't know if that regression is normal i just don't know a lot of stuff for this but let's go to i don't even know where it would be i think awards no league leaders probably no where, am i yeah there it is statistics I, I always get confused for some reason I, I can never find this literally if i went to the next season just simulated in that amount of time i would forget uh but mlb records let's see this let's turn the cam off so y'all can see um any just any new ones doesn't look like it here yeah it doesn't look like it so no new ones for that um achievements maybe no hall of fame inductees though that's that's cool seeing mike trout on there but uh i'm surprised that's the only records they have honestly but hey i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will see you next time i know it was definitely kind of long uh thank you guys for watching hope you have a fantastic rest of your day peace out